thousands of British Jews and their supporters were led through the streets of London by celebrities. Here to condemn the rise in anti-Semitism since the start of the Israel-Gaza war. I'm out here today because Jews in this country feel scared. They feel under attack. Um, some people are scared to go to the workplace, they're scared to send their children to school. Racism in this country, especially when there's an incitement to hatred, is illegal. It's also immoral. It's also unpleasant. And, and I'm here to march against it because I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. There's going to be moderate people on pro-Palestinian marches and there's going to be moderate and what I'm here to do is to encourage moderate people to stand up and have a voice. Among the crowd, Boris Johnson showed his support. Organisers had asked politicians to join them, but controversial far-right activist Tommy Robinson had been told he would not be welcome. Police had warned if he left this cafe to join the crowd, he'd be moved on. Why am I being dispersed? Why am I being dispersed? Tommy, why did you come when the organisers told you to stay away? I'm here to do my job as a journalist. I'm at work. I'm at work. He was led away and later arrested. A pat on the back from a supporter, while others were glad to see him go. He's trying to align himself with your cause. What would you say to him? This uh, march is about tolerance, it's about inclusion, it's about kindness. Anyone who wants to use it in order to exploit hate or sow division is not welcome. This was the largest march against anti-Semitism in Britain since the war began, and police were out in force. Organisers say the pro-Palestinian demonstrations that have been held here in the capital in recent weeks have made London a no-go zone for British Jews. And they say it's a sad fact that many Jews feel London is no longer a safe place for them. But there was acceptance here that many hundreds of thousands of people have been compelled to take to the streets in support of Palestinians. We obviously, obviously sympathise with innocent people of any description caught up in any conflict anywhere in the world. We really mean that. But it's, it's not OK to therefore equate and then attack British Jews for a conflict that's happening halfway across the world. People are allowed to have um, free speech, but I think when you have from the river to the sea in, in the Jewish community, that means one thing, and that's what we're quite fearful about today. The war is creating tensions across the UK, with each community keen for their voices to be heard. Becky Johnson, Sky News, Central London.